Have you ever wondered why your website isn't seeing as much traffic from Facebook or other social media platforms as it once did? Well, the digital landscape is rapidly changing, and today we are diving into the heart of the issue. Hi, friends. I'm Katie Brinkley, and you're listening to a Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast. These bite sized episodes are released every Thursday and are going to give you the latest news and tips in the world of social media that are happening right now. Let's dive into today's Quick Cast episode. Welcome back. I am really excited to be talking about what all this website traffic really means in the world of going live, creating content, all the things that we're doing here on social media. If it's really not driving over to the website for more leads and more conversions, is it still worth our time? And so this is one of the things that I was reading from social media today. It's one of my favorite websites. If you are really into statistics and the latest trends and tactics in the world of all things social media, go check out social media today because they were the ones that really brought up this entire discussion about the decline in website traffic. So data from some very reputable sources like SimilarWeb and Axios, they've presented a very startling revelation. And we all know that you shouldn't be putting links in the actual caption on Facebook and links on Instagram don't even work. You have to send people to the bio. And then here we go with X coming into the picture. X is formerly known as Twitter, but X has come into the picture. And even they're saying that website traffic is down. So this is where similar web Axios, they both provided some data saying that <laughs> Facebook referral traffic is down 80%. Yes, eight zero. 80% since September of 2020. This isn't just a Facebook issue. Another major platform, like I said earlier, X, they have seen a 60% decline in the same period. So why? Why is website traffic down from social media platforms so, so dramatically? And really the, the primary culprit here is the explosive growth of short form video content. Yes, reels on Facebook, reels on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts. These videos are amassing over 200 billion views a day across platforms. Yes, 200 billion with a B. And the attention span of users, that's one of the things we used to say that you had three seconds to grab someone's attention, but that it was 10 seconds. And you know what? Now you have even less. The attention span of users is shrinking and short, snappy videos, they are filling the void. But really, how has this affected link-based content? Because all along, that kind of content was a little bit different anyways, right? Well, this is where Meta, AKA Facebook and Instagram, Meta's data provides more insights. And in just two years, views of Facebook posts with links have decreased by 50%. The reason behind this, so Meta wants to reduce the political content in user feeds. <sighs> yeah, that 2020 election, uh, yeah, that really <laughs> did a lot of damage for, you know, what is true, what isn't true. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, they got in a lot of trouble with the whole political mess that happened with fake news and real news. The company is trying to reduce their political content that's showing up in user feeds. By doing this, Meta really wants to enhance the user experience and keep them shielded from divisive debates. And I'm all for that. One of the things that the hate about political season is getting in stuck into a comment, somebody's comments and seeing just the dramatic arguing going back and forth. But that's really only one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the puzzle, well, of course, it's 2023, folks. 
I wouldn't be here if I wasn't talking about AI, right? AI is, man, it's changing the game. And AI-driven content is part of the algorithm and its recommendations are altering the way that users interact with Facebook, Instagram, X, all these social media platforms. So content that aligns with users' interests are now prioritized over content from chosen, pa chosen pages, chosen friends, uh, and it's really steering the platform more towards entertainment and less about personal connections, which honestly, it breaks my heart. You all know how passionate I am about having community be the focus of your social media, showing up for connecting with others. This is such an important part of social media and more and more people are going on to consume. Really, if you think about all this, what I said here, people are going to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all these platforms to be entertained. It's no different than turning on the TV. How can you bring those personal connections back? It's so important to do, but it's happening across all these platforms. All these platforms are seeing it happen. And even X, you know, formerly known as Twitter, <laughs> X, it, their, their trajectory is really fascinating because as many of you know, Elon Musk purchased Twitter, renamed it to X. Really what Musk is doing is he is emphasizing direct postings. So Twitter used to be one of the most dominant link post platforms out there. And now those link posts are now shoved to the side. They're sitting in the background, they're on the back burner. And the platform's algorithm is increasingly encouraging <laughs> video. Everything that we're doing with these little rectangles we carry around in our pockets here is turning more and more into a consumption-based tool, not even tool, entertainment device in our pockets. We're having to see really a shift in the way that we are building our community and doing business online. And I really think that the evolution of social media over these past three years, this past year specifically with X, this evolution in how users are consuming content and behaving on these platforms and the way that these platforms algorithms shifted is really presenting marketers, entrepreneurs, coaches, a huge challenge, but also a huge opportunity. Let's first talk about the challenge. With decreased link clicks, how as a business should you adapt? Some people who are creating content over on Facebook have taken a different route where they post article descriptions as images with the actual link in the comments. And this drives me to think, is this method really effective in the long run to just show the image, give a little bit of a description and then the link in the comments? Is that effective in the long run? I think that the, the, the decreasing emphasis on these link-based referrals really suggests that brands need to reevaluate their strategies. Many people want to just watch and be entertained on their phone. How can you do that? It's by creating good content, by creating carousel posts, by creating short form video, figuring out how to upload and create infographics. With all of this, the goal is to engage users in a meaningful way and drive that brand recognition and loyalty people see you show up in their feed. They might not be clicking like, but they see what you're doing. They see what you're doing, they know what you do, and they're building that know, like, and trust factor. The consistency and knowing what the intent behind with your social media is extremely important. As we look ahead to 2024, it's coming. It's gonna be here sooner than we realize it. I think it's really important for you to take a step back and ask yourself, what is the true purpose of social media for you and your business?
why are you on it? Is it because fewer and fewer website traffic is going to be coming from social media. I think that you need to look at what your metrics are, what's working, what doesn't work. Is your main goal website visits or is your main goal brand engagement? Is it community building? Is it lead generation? Is it awareness? Know what your purpose is on social media and know what the intention is behind every single social media post. Man, I got to thank these social media guys for constantly <laughs> changing up algorithms and evolving their platforms because things are always changing. It's an evolving landscape. And if you are looking at what works, what doesn't work for your business, it might just be the time to set aside a good 30 minutes, look at what's working for you. I have a great podcast episode about how to conduct a social media audit. I would love, I'll include it in uh, the show notes for this week's episode. And if you haven't done a social media audit in a while, listen to that episode. It'll walk you right through how to do it because you need to know what's working. Things are changing. Things aren't working the way they did today, three years ago. You need to stay updated. You need to stay, be adaptable because the decrease in referral traffic really isn't just a signal to stop posting on social media. It means that it's time to evolve with how you're showing up on social media. Look at your statistics, dive into the world of creating content with purpose, explore the power of video. Most importantly, Stay connected with your audience, continue showing up for them and continue trying to drive and build that community around your brand. Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. Make sure to subscribe so that you can continue navigating the world of entrepreneurship. And I'd love to hear from you. Please leave the show a review and connect with me on social media. You can find me on Instagram at I am Katie Brinkley or connect with me on LinkedIn. And if you're ready to start making some sales on social media, be sure to grab my free guide to selling in the DMs without being spammy. You can get that at katiebrinkley.com. Let's keep taking your marketing to all new heights.